I just wait for everyone. So I'm just going to share my screen. Let me know once it is up. Again, guys, this is not a big session. This is also a small session. There are some extra topic which I tried to provide in this session. And let me know once my screen is up. Thumbs up or thumbs up will be appreciated. Okay, thanks, Yan. So like my screen is up. So today's main topic is uh, time and space complexity. Okay, uh, then we need to learn about what is time complexity, uh, significance of time complexity, big notation, space complexity, and example. These are the very easy topic, but either you are two years, fresher, six years, ten years. This will never like, uh, there is a never time we didn't ask this question about this. For the experience, they need to answer in a different way. For a fresher, they need to answer. The best you answer this question, the best job you get. So this is like the something which everything, every company wants. Even company, even like a client also wants. I will let you know in the class why client also want. So can anyone tell me what is complexity? What is complex means according to you? Guys, uh, anyone know what is the meaning of complexity or complex? Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry. Chat, I need to scroll down. Time required, complex or hectic. Uh, time required is not a thing. Uh, time required is also fine. Complex or hectic. Hectic, you can say. Okay, difficulty is an awesome word. Hard is also an awesome word, which I'm required. Time required, you can say. Like, uh, actually, like some things are very easy, but time taken. Can you say complex? No, no. But yeah, complex things take time required. That's one of the features. But if things are hard, then they also take time required. So my point is time required is second way when things are complicated. So it will take time. Suppose uh, there is a simple thing. Uh, let me tell you a uh, rotation of fan. So it will take time for rotation, rotation. It's keep on rotating. It's taking time, but it's not complex. Complex thing is like uh, algo writing algorithm, uh, listening the lesson. Providing the lesson might be complex for someone, might be not complex for anyone. So complexity depend upon person to person. Got it? But what is complexity in case of machine? So that is the thing, time. How many time and space they are taking to do any work? How much hard to taking a time? That is a complexity in case of time and space. So time means how many time it will take, how much space they consume. In these, th in these two terms, we are getting a complexity. As the word is in time and space complexity. Any question, any doubt or the complex word or time and space word is clear? In like layman terms. How space? So like if you are, uh, okay, that's a good question even. Space is like, suppose you're using a lot of variable, variable A equal to something, variable B equal to something, variable D equal to something, you're using N number of variable. Then there is a space also that is consuming a space. Space, yeah, space we can see later also, not a big thing, but you got the answer in a space like uh, using a variable, lot of variable, program size is too much big, array size, you know, the size of the array, size of the object. Yeah, RAM, yes. <coughs> RAM. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I don't know what happened, suddenly. Uh, so it's RAM is taking that same, yeah, the Program is when you run the program, it's stored in the uh, it is running in the RAM only. So uh, like space means size of the program, and how complex is the like variable size? How much they are taking a size of the program? Okay, but we will uh, read deep in later. But time and space you got to know. Any question? Okay. Okay. So now. Uh, time complexity of algorithm uh, quantify the amount of time taken by an algorithm. So how much total amount of time is taken by any algorithm is a time complexity. Uh, some uh, algorithm take less time and some algorithm take more time. So this is nothing. Amount of time taken by any uh, algorithm is a time complexity. Clear? Yeah. 
not really center. Okay, so similarly, space complexity means amount of space or memory taken. Space is a space like size or also a memory taken. So memory is because of prime. Like one thing which I need to tell you, some uh, like a problem can be solved in different manner. Some can be solved in high complexity manner, small complexity manner, depend upon the things. If you are uh, considering an example, so there are a lot of examples uh, which you can run it very easily and some can run it taking a lot of time. So suppose if, a, if it's a 10th class exam, if you give it to me, you can I can crack it. If it's give it to you, you can crack it. But if you give it to a second or third class boy, he will take a lot of time to crack it. Similarly, a dull or boy. So there's a lot of solution, lot of uh, a simple program. A simple program can have multiple methods. You know, uh, one question have multiple answers. So simple question have a multiple method. So if you write a program, you know, second program, 50-80% chance. The same program can be written by two different way by two person. Okay, so like, uh, but the best is one which have less complex. So if you're writing a less complexity, less complexity program, so then it will be a very good way. So like, if you're going for any big interview like Google or Amazon or uh, like, um, I can say Microsoft and Oracle, they only focus the time and space complexity. Basically space, very less time. Now we have a lot of space, lot of space. Like you can like make a 256 MB of a program. You know, uh, previously uh, in that in the Java, Java, we have a lot of big size of program, but we don't want to be a time complex. In case of uh, React node also, if you don't delete the node modules, then your program size is around 200 MB or 180 MB. So space is not a big deal for us. Time is a big deal. You got my point? Any doubt on time and space? So time, you need to put more focus. Like try to avoid using unnecessary space. So suppose, let me tell you what happened. So suppose, uh, this is the only example of space. I'm writing it here. Uh, okay, so this one program int a equal to three. Okay. Similarly, int b equal to four. Okay, int c. Okay. Then I'm writing in C equal to A plus B. Okay. Then I need to return C. This is one way. Okay. Now the second way is. <coughs> instead of making. Okay. First of all, this int is not there. First of all, making C at here. I can delete it. This is the second way. Now the third and awesome way, which nowadays company want, instead of declaring C, I don't want to declare C, I just directly write return A plus B. So there is one variable, which I prevent. Need out? So this less space, this have some space, this have the more space. So this is all about space complexity. I always try to write a program in this manner. Why I need to store a variable if I need to return that variable. So directly return A plus B. Any question, any doubt, anything you need to ask? Okay, do I will do one thing. I will just create a time and space complexity. <clears throat> Same as checking min and max in L1 better material in your own code yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. That's an awesome thing. So like what I'm trying to say, yeah, there are lots and lots of way of writing min and max program and there are other program also. So like guys, oh, I think I delete. Oh, control shift. Okay. So guys, my request to everyone is like, yeah, I will always try my best to give you the best. So that's why I'm always searching the best. So share. Let's. Instead 
I hope you have the link and you can access this link. Let me know if I can ping this link. So I'm pinning this. So in the next, in the last, we can use this. So this is one program which I told you about space complexity. And in the last, in the end, we read about some basic thing more on space complexity. Okay. <clears throat> is complex example guys this unnecessary jo, uh, lines hoti hai, you need to delete that also so this is also taking us some space my point so you never uh, like write any unnecessary line in the code okay so this is called break line error when you uh this is come with a lot of places when you work in a technical way and it um okay i shared the google link uh, i shared that program at here <clears throat> so time complexity of an algorithm i told you how much time space complexity the factor time is usually more important than space yeah Time is more important. That's there's a reason. So you can use up to 256 MB of program. There is something like uh see guys, this line is most most important, which I write to you for only 47% of consumer consumer accept a website to be loaded, not loaded in more than two seconds. So if something want to load, they want load in less second. If they're taking more second, means there's some time issue. You got my point. So that's why everyone wants that load in less than two seconds. So it will not take more than two seconds. So they never want it this, this taking this much space, this taking this much space. See, we are showing 256 MB uh, maximum. Like we, you can use, but we have a 1 TB, 1 GB of uh, space nowadays. Okay. So now how to check a complexity? How to tell which has the more complexity and what are the reason that, that is called the notations. Based on the notation, there are three types of notations we have that tell you the complexity of program. So before going to notation, any question, any doubt? guys okay so thank you so much for the response on guys when like guys guys are less i get more response i don't know why uh, but if we don't use space after this it will be but if we don't use space after this is it will be fadt first of all i don't know what is fadt is it will be fast space after what uh this matlab like where after this see never be a fast if you're if you're deleting the space you're just uh consuming the space uh, like space complexity and i just now told you time complexity matters a lot in case of space complexity and if you are like deleting the space there's an awesome way to remove all the unnecessary space yesterday i told you so there is one uh button in the vs code alt shift f if you press Alt Shift F, all the unnecessary space, all the unnecessary thing will be deleted. But yeah, removing space complexity never make your program fast. It will only decrease the space. You got it, Sian? Yeah. Okay. Now the next part is notations. So we have a three type of notations. Okay. So first is big O, big Omega, and big Theta. So O omega and theta so theta is widely used and big o is widely used so these two are widely used big omega is very rarely used even big o is widely used also big o notation uh, okay okay so basically if two are widely used then go for all three okay and these are very very easy and this is the only topic which you need to study so you can see uh, these are the agenda of today so what is time complexity significance of type complexity so significance means what is the use with the example i will tell you later so this is the significance of uh, time complexity 47 percent of the website is used with this uh if you like uh like like uh decrease the, uh decrease the time of the any website decrease the time of the program it will affect the performance also affect the performance so removing space means less things to process or compile ah uh, no yaar buddy what is the size of space can you okay let me show you something <coughs> java so these are the code which we always did okay okay so guys can you see the size of it 
what is the size of my program? 1 KB. Okay. So how you can think with the help of some removing the spaces, it will become less than 1 KB. So this have 2 KB. So if you add or remove, see 1.25 KB, even not 2 KB. So with one space hardly matters. Yeah, with 200 spaces, uh, it will uh, change the, add the size of this. But in case of class file, in case of class file, they will remove all the unnecessary space. You got my point. So while compiling, they will remove the space while creating a class file. So they doesn't have any issue with compile taking time. So compilation is only one time. So I compile this, it will only one time. They have the issue with run time. Compilation only did once in the project. But when you run it, so compiled, uh, compiled or build in case of JavaScript, we use the word build. So compiled or build always remove the unnecessary space for you. But yeah, it's a good habit to remove unnecessary space. But guys, I told you, no one asked you about for space complexity in the interviews. Time matters more, more and more. But when you do coding, it's a good practice to remove unnecessary space. So that's why there is an awesome way alt plus shift plus F it will automatically remove 90% uh, of unnecessary space, unnecessary thing <coughs> intent your code. So guys, do you remember when we write the code, we give lot of space at here. Okay. It's opening in VS code. Okay. Let him. Okay. So we give a lot of space at here. You can see there's a space. So if it's going like this way, so we give a lot of space, but hardly matters. It is a good practice because, but if you delete this line, this will be good. Is it clear now? Clear to everyone? Yeah. Thank you so much. So it's clear to you. So now time and space. So now I'm telling, telling about big O, big Omega and big theta notation. It is the most commonly used. I called you now. Uh, this is also most. It is the most commonly used notation. It defines the upper bound of a function. Upper bound means what is the maximum complexity of a program. Then space indentation means no space and tab both. So if you see it here in the rightmost corner, so see here you can see convert indentation to space, convert indentation to tab. So indentation is done with the help of both space and time depend upon the company, which company is using what? Is it clear because? <coughs> okay, sir. So now we have a big O notation. So I told you big O is the worst case time. So you can say worst case, how much time and space complexity is same in all language, 99% same. I can say 100% same. Is it clear? Anything? And that's a good question. I just appreciate to you. If we remove indentation, then it will be lesser. But lesser, I told you Vikas and everyone in the class file. Let me open class file to you. Okay. So open with notepad. Yeah. Are you able to see any extra spaces at here? Are you able to see anything at here? So build file, class file automatically remove all these things. So I just request you don't focus on removing space. Uh, uh, if you remove intent, then it will be lesser. Lesser might be a size. So like I can write a program. So suppose this is a 2KB program. Let's, let's, let's do this. Okay. So it's a 2KB pro program. I don't know. My system is hanging a lot today. Okay. Now I remove all the spaces. Okay. All the tab. Okay. Now you can see the size is still 2 KB. Okay. Now let me check how much it is. It is 1.12. So how much you saved is 0.1 KB. Deleting the indentation of 25 line, you save only 0.1 KB. So because is it a good achievement? Is it code is readable to you?
yeah removing space is like clean coding doing yes but don't remove the space which is required okay sir got it let's do it control z okay <coughs> can i move to notation and i'm very happy these many of question these like this type of question like will make the class longer first of all because we have a small class nowadays we don't have like lot of topics so this make the class uh, longer this make the class interactive even i get a lot of things to say and guys uh, if you want to know how i did this so suppose if you want to do a uh, like whole these line to be shifted one just press tab or if you want to delete it press shift tab so shift tab will delete the tab space see shift tab and tab so this is a shortcut which might be helpful in the future tab and shift tab but sometime vs code does not pro prove the code the pro prove or provide but sometime provide but sometime vs code doesn't provide the code the way we want oh oh my god why they provide every time so what you want see like vs code is the editor not your brother or not your teacher or not your sir so they will try this is a machine only machine will like a uh, robot so they don't know what you want they are just guessing it I think, um, but something we as good. He mind by yeah 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 yeah. See, see if I delete all these things and I press Alt Shift F. So see they have since still one line. I'm just doing one more time. See I deleted lot of things. Now I press Alt Shift F. Still one line is there. Okay. Still I write this one line and I press Alt Shift F. This line they are not deleting. They are deleting extra lines. One line they are not deleting it. Yeah. And sometimes indentation is not awesome in VS Code. Yes yes yes. Is it clear, Narendra? <coughs> yes. And then the answer is also clear to you. Yeah. Sometimes VS Code have an issue with the indentation. I told you he's a machine. He don't know what and in, uh, indentation exact you need. Okay. Let me tell you one issue. Suppose you forgot to write this. Okay. By mistake. Okay. So if you do indentation now. Uh, let me do one thing. Uh, now what I'm trying to do, I'm just putting this back. Okay. So now indentation will not work okay. because you have some error, something issues. But when you write this, then it will work. And it's sometime on our mistake. In sometime VS Code mistake. Sometime like uh, VS Code don't know how to do. It. Yeah, it happens with me also. Can I jump to notations now, or still have some questions? <sighs> So what is big O? Big O or big O? Clinic all clear. <laughs> yeah, order it for me. <laughs> uh, clinic all clear, a big size one. I have a lot of dandruff. Okay, so what is big O notation? That is the worst time case complexity. Worst means it's a big O. So this means that you have to only check the worst time case complexity. What is the worst time case complexity? In some of the program, that program might be completed in uh, like one second. Or might be completed in maximum 10 seconds. So big O in that case you need to say 10 seconds. Is big O in theory it is clear? Any doubt in big O? Big O you need to tell what is the worst time. And you always need to say in terms of O. Okay. So let me show you how this works. So this is a graph. O of 1 means it will take only one step. Matlab like nothing is big O taking the maximum. Big O tell what is big O doesn't take in the maximum time. What is the maximum time taken a program to run? Sometimes program will run in three seconds. Sometimes program take eight seconds. So it will give you the maximum time. Worst case, how much time it can. Okay, let me give you this example also. I means big O describe the maximum time. Yeah, maximum time. Yes, yes. Maximum time uh, done required for the program to complete. <coughs> Any question? Okay, I'm giving an example. Uh, might be not required, but let me give it. You know, in some program, what happened? Uh, if we say, if uh, like input is not there, like input is invalid or not there. 
<laughs> so we return it. What we do? We return it, and in that case, time is one second, like O of one. I will tell you, one means very fast. But actually, if you check, but actually, we need to find the maximum time. Maximum time is something like it will take n steps. Example, I'm just giving you example. One more example. Suppose you need to find the palindrome of a number. Palindrome means opposite. Like, uh, if I write uh, one to one, this is a palindrome. So, guys, one is a palindrome number, yes or no? So, if the, anything is a single digit number, do we need to check is it is a palindrome or not? No, na. So, for this, the best case complexity, best case. I'm saying worst. Best case complexity is very less. In that case, we don't need to run a program even just if it's a single digit return. Yes, but we are checking a worst case. So in case of big O complexity, we are checking a worst case. So if it's a O of one, O of one means no loop. So I will tell you looping later, you know, iteration O of one means there is no loop. Okay. It's a simple program. So just like addition of two number, multiplication of two number, some simple division that's coming O of one. What is O of log n? Uh, it's bigger than one and less than n. So you know that the value of log n is uh, greater than one and less than n. So this is log n and then O of n. n means one iteration. n means one iteration. Log n you can say half iteration, but we yeah, are more than half. Okay, so O of one, O of log n, O of n, then n log n, then n square, then two raised to the power n, then n factorial. So factorial, so what is best amazing O of 1? If there is no loop, if there is, okay guys, what make machine a problematic? If you have a loop, so suppose if you have a loop of, uh, if you have a two loops, so when you remember two loops, uh, when we write two loops, so suppose this loop has been uh, running for five times and this loop running for five times. So total execution time in 25, not a separate five, five. So that's why if you have a nested loop, then it will become n square. So just now I'm writing O of 1, O of log n, O of n, O of n log n. So O of 1, you can say it will not take any time. O of log n say it will take uh, like a uh, not n or not O of 1 in between that. O of n means it will take one loop. Okay. At least one loop is there in the program. Okay. How much length of the n hardly matters, but there's a one loop. Depend upon the n, but there's a one loop. N log n means take one full and one loop is more than one and less than one. So n log n. n square means two loop. Okay. Two raised to the power means two raised to the power something like this. And there's a theory of two raised to the power. And there's an awesome theory which uh, let me know at the end of the class. I will tell you. Uh, there is a king story of two raised to the power. And this is also in the, your notes also. We will discuss later. Except this. Any doubt in big O complexity chart? Nice. Didn't got which one you didn't got everyone or shall I start from the scratch? Chart. Okay. First of all, they are saying if you're getting O of one, this is amazing. If you're getting off Logan, this is good. If you're getting this is fair, this is bad, and this is terrible. This is chart saying. So you got to know what is O of 1, what is O of N, what is of O log N. Because oh, you have doubt in that also. No, one minute. Yeah, take your time. We represent number of iteration is n, yes. n means uh, one iteration. O of n, don't say n, n. Yeah, you can say n means one iteration. Uh, one whole iteration, not one iteration step. Whole complete loop. Instead of iterations, yeah, loop. <coughs> o of one, less time, good. 
oh and factorial take more time terrible yes guys shall i move ahead vikas nishant paras so we describe this for loops yes yes loops like any loop while do while for for each only loops let me think where have iteration yes 99% yes you are right where we have a loop so try to avoid loops recursion is also a loop recursion also like in uh, in most of the time we are not using recursion in the daily uh, in the office time but yeah recursion is also a loop uh, that is also n if you have a two recursion then it's a n square and even we can't tell the recursion in the complexity because we don't know how many time uh, a function is calling itself that's why we avoid recursion okay so suppose uh, every time you're decreasing the value of n that it will go for n so suppose you have to got it now okay so basically most focus on the loop okay let's come over omega omega is the minimum time minimum time so that's why no one wants the minimum time everyone wants see this is big o means uh, maximum time big theta means min and max both you need to tell minimum time also and maximum time also like best case so let me write it here worst case first <clears throat> Best case, worst. It will provide both worst and best. Okay, so when you do a coding for uh, at least for yourself uh, for any interview, they will ask for big theta. Yeah, like big big O. But if you are writing big theta. Like if you're writing in this way, ah, uh, like omega, then means you're telling the best cases. If you're writing theta, then you will tell the average case. But yeah, mostly we write in big O only. So big O is the see. So if you're using big O, that means you're telling the worst case. If okay, got it. Next, okay. So now coming to big omega. So I told you here in the program. We are writing this program here. So if in well input is invalid. If input is a single digit only, in that case, the best O of n is the complexity because there is no loop run. So, guys, any doubt why how O of one comes? So, suppose if input is valid, if input is a single digit, but actually next time to one will return time one single digit. It not in every program in some program. If a single digit, no loop run, then complexity is. O of one. This O is always caps. Any doubt in a uh, best uh, best case complexity? That is big omega. O omega theta. So omega is clear to everyone. We calculate number of loops for n. How many loops? Nested loop. First of all. Okay, guys. Uh, that's a good question. Let's jump to this question. Uh, thanks, Vikas, for asking this question. So guys, uh, let me go at the last because this is a part of example only. Suppose there is two program, two program. One program have loop, okay. So like one loop for printing, one loop for uh, input, okay, and one loop for processing, processing the data. Okay, so everyone have n complexity. I'm right or wrong? Yes or no? Guys, yes or no? Okay, so as two person saying, everyone have a n complexity. So in the program, so this is one program. What is the total complexity? O of one means one loop, right? No, no, because not at all. O of one means no loop, zero loop. I don't know how to remove thumbs up. So, someone told me O of n, guys. What about others? 
what is the complexity of this program nishant uh, explanation y of n because like if i ask an explanation you can't give it because this is not the exact answer so any number of loops they will be o of n guys wait 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 before like thinking yourself let me clear you so see we have to find the sum so this is n plus n plus n so total complexity is 3n so 3n equal to n only so if you approx make of 3 of n 7 of n 20 of n 100 of n hardly matters if you multiply something with 100 but if you making a square of something that will be very complex so 3 of n 4 of n 5 of n like avoiding multiple loops but 3 of n approx so what is the sign of approx this is the sign of approx approx equal to n so that's why the complexity is o of n any question will be appreciated guys did you get the answer of your question uh nishan did you get the answer paras did you get the answer and kishor did you kishor na guys other get the answer repeat okay so see we how to find the complexity so this will run n times this will run n times and this will run n times so total run is 3n so 3n is approximately equal to n only so suppose 3n uh, but suppose the value of n is uh, loop will running is 7000 times okay <coughs> 7000 7000 into 3 is 21000 that is approximately equal to 7000 only because it's not a 49000 Okay, so if I uh, sum it, seven thousand plus seven thousand plus seven thousand, twenty-one thousand. But seven thousand into seven thousand, it's a forty-nine thousand. Or generally, looping is something like this. They will calculate for a worst case. You got my point. So, three n is approximately equal to n. That's why we give up. Uh, that's why we give a complexity of O n. Is it clear? Now, one more question. Okay, one loop of printing. Inside this, there there is one more loop. Can anyone guess the complexity now? Guys, what about others? Okay, so this is a nested loop. So this will be a n square. This is a one loop. This will become n. So the total complexity is n square plus n. And we guys know we can ignore this n because that hardly matter. Addition of one n. So the original complexity is O of n square. Is it clear to everyone? guys if you remember when we are doing 2d array a two dimensional array we mostly have a complexity of n square let me show you also in that case i don't know the java number so let's go to our notes java 2d nahi sorry this is java 2 problem solving in one dimension yeah 2d matrix so guys when now i try to iterate it iterate. see here i am iterating inside this is the n square complexity are you able to see one for inside there is one more for this is n square any question any doubt anything which you guys need to ask so this is the practical example of n square Yeah, there might be three three uh, nested loops. There might be a, like a um, hundred of nested loops, but that is like worst. I told you now that will become a terrible. We need to avoid n square also, but in some cases n square is fine. That is a like two D array cases. If we have a loop inside loop inside loop, then we can say O of n cube. Yes. So if I added one more uh, loop at here, then it will become O of n cube.
Any more question? Guys, can we have a break of 10 or 15 minutes? Can you explain overflow and show if 100 loop then n raised to the power 100? Yes. Okay, someone asked, can you please explain n log n? That's even a good question. Then after this question, we can go for a break. Uh, for uh, int i equal to 0, i is less than n by 2, i plus plus. Nishan, can you please answer uh, this loop will uh, run how many times? This loop will not know n times. This will run uh, n by 2 times. So if I enter the input 50, it will, yeah, until i is less than n by 2. So it will run n by 2 times. Is it clear? So this is less than n or greater than n. So that's why we write O of log n. Guys, now one question to you. If I write something like this, i equal to 5 and i is less than n, then what is the complexity? Okay. So someone asked once more log sir. Okay. If a complexity is less than n, then it's a O of log n complexity. This is something like this. So if I write n by 2, this will run only half of times. So that's why we write O of log n. But in this case, I will only delete it first 5. So that's why it's have a O of n. I hardly told you deleting 5, 20, uh, like 100 hardly matters. If you make it half, then it will matter. Because is it clear? Less than n, at least half. Like in Hindi, I say Vikas Agar Samaj Maa Ata Hai, Ye Bhoat Bada Hai. Aapne Isma Chai Ittu Ittu Sa Nikaal Diya, Hardly Matters. But Uska Half Nikaal Diya, Half Me Thoda Sa Idhar Thoda Sa Udha Chale Ga. Now in English. So if the size of this is a billion years, if you delete it 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, hardly matters. But if you make it half, if you make it 1 by 3rd, if you make it 1 by 4th, then it is overflow again. Is it clear because? <coughs> and Nishant. So guys, let's have a uh, 12 minutes break then. Let's connect at sharp 9. 9, 2 or 9, 10. Like I will, I need to take a med. So let's connect at 9. The answer of your question. Which question? Nishan, which question? This is of log n. I told you ki if this much big size is there, if I delete it 5, 10, 15, 20, 35, hardly matters. Complexity is O of n. You already told the complexity is O of n. Here's the answer. And I write it. Is it clear, Nishant? Even you only give the answer of O of n if I'm not wrong. So during uh, selection for any company, will they ask aptitude or just only chess? Now in the, uh, TC, for a fresher, TCS ask aptitude for, uh, guys, Narendra, are you there? Guys, is there, are you back? Present sir, yes sir, yes sir. Thank you so much for the first response. So there is one question which Narendra asked. So, sir, during selection of any, sir, see, depend upon the company. TCS for freshers, they ask, not for the experience one. Nagaro, uh, Nagaro always ask. Few company always ask for Oracle, they didn't ask. So, depend upon the organizations. Then, did you get the answer? Oh, 
okay so we have a very less topic left let's complete it fast okay so uh, i told you basically more about big o then i told you big omega then big omega is like a uh, minimum time taken by an algorithm okay that's a big omega now big theta is lower bound and upper bound means the most both most and least so best and least then in that case you need to write both now the next thing this is an additional topic so before this we completed almost most of the topics so let's just check it then we'll jump to a one next new topic so this is a today's material so we, uh, we have a time and space complexity i told you significance see space provide a very much significance like uh, you need to put a very much focus on the space complexity and it is very much useful see that uh, like in most of the days space is very very required so they are giving one example how much time so this is i in range 1 to 10 so this statement will run 10 times so okay <coughs> So then they told you about big O notation. So this is one example. So this is n and n. So this is a nested loop. Okay. So this will have a n square complexity. Okay. So they are saying this will run n into n minus i time. That is n square minus n. At the end, it will become n square only. Okay. Now uh, this is a dominant term. This is a story which I need to told you everyone. So there is a uh, there is a king. Once upon a time, there was an Indian king. Uh, a wise man asked, uh, you need to give me uh, one uh, wheat, uh, wheat or grain and the next day you have to give me two and the next day you have to give me a four. So like double every time. So if it's a govern, then double every day. Okay. So if you double every day on the last day only, you will get at least two raised to the power 64 grain. Two raised to the power 64 grain means this much grain you need to give, which is around 184 billion ton grain. Uh, king thinks how much it will I today I will give one next day I will be double 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 at the end how much it will be king is not that much wise so if you double every time so this will become this much ton of wheat so what is the reason behind this story so don't neglect anything everything matters everything matters so if it's a uh, increasing every time you need to put very much focus on this so this is just a story of king then this is a big O then this is we have a big omega Okay, this is big O complexity charge, which even I told you, O of 1 has the least complexity, O of log n is more than complexity, then this is something like O of n to power 4. Okay, then factorial, then multiple terms, and the last is the space complexity. So they told you only this about space complexity, I told you more, lots of examples and other things. Let's jump to question and answer first. Uh, screen compound. Uh, Nishan, what is screen? What do you mean by screen? Oh my god, I didn't share the screen. screen much okay guys let me share the screen first and let's have one by one question first so guys uh what did i did is i explained this but uh what we have today each and everything and uh this is the story which i told you about so this is dominant term so every day you need to double the rise so at the end at the fifth day only this will become this much which even uh, rather than thinking but at the last day only, so it will become 2 raised to the power 64. 2 raised to the power 64 grain of wheat. If you double every day. Okay. And that will end up into this much. Ton of wheat. So this way, this is our story I have defined. Let's jump to other question. First one, someone asked, uh, what is theta? Okay. Let me repeat theta again. Not this one. Okay. Battery is running low. Let me put it on a charge. Okay, so charging sun. Theta is the lower and upper. I mean best and worst case. You need to tell both. So in the uh, in the uh, what I try to say in the uh, program, you need to tell the both case. So this is the worst case and this is the best case. <coughs> so uh, is theta is clear to you, Nishant? And uh, Paras, what, why you write the word compound? Example, in every program, you need to tell the both. What is the worst case and best case? So let's uh, let's check that program only. So suppose I write it at here. So there is, okay, there is one program. Let's write, uh, 
here uh, one program which have loop one loop and one condition with check value okay so if uh, conditions like greater than greater two digit number positive number something like this number of conditions are there so if user enter anything like this so if first condition fulfill then the complexity is 1 of 1 and the worst case complexity is o of n okay so this is the best case and this is the worst case so you need to tell the both in that case is it clear with example Ah, yeah, it's a compounding method to raise to the power 64. Yes. Because example is Guys, am I audible to you? Yes. Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, any question, any doubt, anything you guys need to ask. So I'm, I'm sharing each and first of all, guys, this is a feedback link. So uh, I'm just sharing a feedback link to you. Just give me a second. Then we have a question and answer. Then we'll, I will share the things with you. Okay, so uh, I shared the feedback link, even I pinned that link. So uh, now I'm sharing the code to everyone. And then I will give you one homework, a simple homework. <clears throat> so guys, first thing first, let me know you are able to see the, uh, let me know you are able to see the assignment. Assignment means, uh, let me know you are able to see each and everything which I shared to you. Yeah, finally it's good. Okay, so guys, first of all, uh, let me uh, share you one question. So the question which I asked, you need to do the homework. Uh, the question is, you need to find the complexity of all sorting algorithm. So for sorting and searching, I'm just giving you a hint, no need to worry. This is a like Google task. You don't need to do anything big. So first of all, you need to write a topic sorting and then space searching. So suppose uh, sorting in sorting, we have a bubble sort. Okay. And in searching, we have a uh, uh, search, binary search. Okay. Now, if you uh, write binary search, complexity okay so they will tell you the complexity of binary search the complexity of binary search is o of log n so similarly uh, this will tell you the both best case and worst case also if you write uh, if you deep down but this is the o of complexity which they are giving you so the homework is first of all you need to write all the searching algorithm all the sorting algorithm and their complexity find the complexity of all sorting and search all sorting and searching algorithm any doubt in this question
Uh, guys, anything you need to ask, any question, any like uh, question related to interview, any personal question, uh, any question in today's class, any question in Java, time and space complexity. Theory. What theory, Nishant? Two raised to the power n. So this is something like uh, two raised to the power of n means every time you are increasing. Two raised to the power of one means one. Two raised to the power means two into two. Two raised to the power two, in, two into two into two. So you are increasing every time in the times. So two into two into two. Two into five means two into two into two into. So suppose some loop is going five raised to the power seven. So five into five into five into five. Is it clear, Nishant? It's a math. And in programming, we rarely use two raised to the power n. Mostly used n square n cube or n log n. Guys, any more question? Sir, theta, sorry, theta. No issues, buddy. Why, why you are saying sorry? <laughs> But the theta means you need to tell both best case and worst case. So it's a com combination of both. So uh, we, we have this. So uh, big O, big omega. Big theta means both worst and best. Is it clear because or you need example? Uh, because like how for because there is often what is for theta uh, actually for theta you have to write both things so for theta big theta means you have to provide two worst case and best case that is uh, O of theta so O of theta worst case O of theta best case Uh, one example, just give me a second. Let me find a real example for you. because uh, I'm showing you something so this way inside this GN you need to provide both of the inverse and best Like O of G N1. Uh, if you're writing O of G N1, then you need see worst and best. Okay, guys, let me tell you this in very carefully. So if they're asking uh theta, so first of all, you have to write worst and best. 
then you need to give the average also so what is the average of worst and best that is like o of g actual n so i'm just writing in front of you so o o means omega at here and uh, g n okay now g n is worst and best case both so first of all you need to write worst okay then you have to write the best then you have to write the o of g n equal to the average of these two but generally we don't write the average value but if you write these two fine if you find the average also then it will be fine or like someone if you get n and n log n so the average is uh, n only that's why like always the average if you find is the bigger one if i'm not wrong but yeah in case of theta notification you need to provide both worst and best that is the only thing if you provide average or not hardly matters any more question any doubt we will represent two time and replacing replacing n we will represent two times and replacing n yeah we are replacing two times so o of 1 and o of n so suppose if still you need to provide the exact o of gn that is n plus 1 upon 2 n upon 2 is also n Does anyone have any questions? But uh, Vikas always provide both in case of theta, best, and average. That's it. Sorry, best and low. Guys, if no question, just give me a thumbs up or uh, let's uh, wrap this session. And guys, you already have a feedback link, so feel free to provide a feedback. Uh, guys, any question, any doubt, you can ask in the chat. If anyone want, if anyone is facing any error, he or she can share the screen. I can help also. If no error, uh, let's have a connect on Monday. Uh, a wonderful weekend to everyone. Guys, how's the Josh? You need to enjoy the weekend also. Okay. So let's wrap this class. Guys, please provide the feedback. It will be really helpful for me. Uh, assignment time complexity for sorting and searching algorithm right yeah yeah this is the assignment which i'm giving to this class as if you see for this class we don't have as such a